Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at Thunder Child, Epic Shouts and Immersion. So I'll just read the description for you. Thunder Child features 31 new shouts with multiple effects, powerful abilities to improve your shouting, a new selection of High Hrothgar, or a new section of High Hrothgar, a high quality grey beard robe model, items improvements and bug fixes to existing shouts. But only the most talented and devout can follow in Jürgen Wind Caller's footsteps. So obviously this adds in more dragon shouts for you to use. And it also says that it does immersion as well. So that's pretty much if you wanted to play as a Greybeard type character or some type of, you know, Dover monk. It adds in the Greybeard model um robe uh, new robes um which you can wear to look like a grey beard which we'll look at in a bit and uh other than that let's just jump straight in so the way you make the well the way you get the new shouts is by having any previous shouts you've already got it recombines the words to make them so i'm quite a i'm about mid-range level character so when I first started, I got those few shouts to just automatically pop up there. And then you get a mission to go straight to Hytherothgar's library. So, one of the things that this mod does is it doesn't just give you the new shouts. You don't get, like, notebooks or anything like that to just get the shouts. You actually have to meditate on them, uh, which we're going to look at shortly. But one of the items that it gives you, gives you is a amulet. And what the amulet does is it basically can store up to, I think it's three or four shouts at a time. And this is the amulet here just below a statue of Talos. So what you do is you go in and you would select like alter, uh, Unrelenting Force and then use that. The amulet of Mantras it is. So you could use like uh, unrelenting force and then like ice form or uh, you know fire shout and each time you use it the amulet remembers which order you use the shouts in. So it then see the equip shout added to slot one or whatever. So it remembers what order you use the shouts. So next time you start combat it will use those shouts in order so you might go in and use like slow time first of all and then switch that up to like storm call and then elemental fury so it saves you having to go in and out of your shout menu every time you want to equip a new shout in combat if you've got like a series of shouts that you always use or you prefer to use it basically auto switches them for you after you've used each one but uh, we'll move on now so in the library itself, uh, I found this book, which just gives you a little backstory on the the new things that the mod adds in. It's basically written by someone who says that people forget the meaning of shouts and there's a spiritual side to it as well. And meditating to kind can unlock more shouts and make them more powerful. And then if you just flick through the book, you'll see it's got a list of the shouts that you can use when I turn the page in a moment. So you can see the more mortal peace trust and uh, essence unleash fire fury tempest. So there is a variety of shouts. It's not just like shoot this or that. It they all do different things and we're gonna look at a few of them in a minute. But this is the robes for the grey beards. So you could become a Dover monk, as I mentioned before. And you've got a variety of colours on them. Uh, unenchanted, so you can enchant them yourself. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, they've got different colours, so it's not just a standard one. You don't get like four or five. There's four wardrobes in there, all with different colours that you can use. So I've just equipped some here. I've still got my bandoliers on. And as you can see, they're basically just a, a, a new set of robes. One thing I noticed is it does set your character model to the body type 
of the grey beard, so you go quite slender. If you play as like a bulky character like I do, because I like to play a warrior, then you will automatically be slimmed down. It's not a major gripe, but you know, it would have been nice if it preserved the body type for you. So to actually unlock shouts, what you have to do is you have to meditate in front of a statue of Kine. Um, and what you do is, if you watch the Stanima bar, you have to try and stop it when your Stanima is below 20%. It was actually harder than it looked for me because your Stanima bar disappears, so you can't actually see it. So it took me a few attempts to get it right. As you can see, we've got some sped up footage. And there we've got some new missions, which we'll look at in a bit. Basically, just like repeating missions that you can do over and over again. And I think this time I get it right. See, so there I got new shouts because I meditated. Uh, I stopped the meditation when the Stanima bar was below 20%. It's a nice little challenge thing they add in. Uh, I found it slightly annoying, but I suppose the point of it is that you kind of have to earn it instead of just getting given them all. And the more you do it, the more shouts you get and more words for that shout. So I just got the first words for the shouts here. And as you guys probably know, it goes up to three. But there are actually shrines scattered around Skyrim for you to find. And if you have all three words for a shout and you find the corresponding shrine, then you actually improve that shout even more. And I found a little cave at the end of the library there, which had a power, which let me reset, uh, cancel a cooldown timer on the shout. Uh, I think it can only be used once a day, though, because when I used it, it, it then greyed out. So, you know, it's something that you can only use once. Um, one of the little submissions that you get is to donate money to Agnia and I just got Dragon Souls in return so I gave him 2,000 gold and got Dragon Soul and then I just gave him like another 10,000 um, I didn't get another Dragon Soul but I assume you know there's uh, like certain amounts you have to give up going up in scale each time to get more Dragon Souls off him And so you get another mission, which is the Champion of Kain. Um, we'll just have a quick look at that now. So as you can see, the top four of them are repeatable. You can just keep doing them over and over. Uh, donate gold to Agnia to support the monastery. Shout to the heavens once a day. Hunt kind spirit animals in the wild, which is, I assume, is just expanding on the kind spirit animal quest that's already in the game. Uh, gain the voice of the sky blessing touch the heavens on skyrim's tallest peak fall for four seconds after leaping with whirlwind sprint and carry kind's fire to the doors of high hrothgar now i did actually try the shout into the heavens one and the fallen after the whirlwind sprint shout i wasn't that successful in doing them if you guys are probably aware that the highest point in High Hrothgar is the throat of the world where Parthenax lives. I went up there, I went to where you get the notch pickaxe and nothing happened, there was nothing to click on or anything like that. So maybe there's something I wasn't spotting, but you only get a map marker for bring kind's flame to the doors of High Hrothgar. So I assume you've got to explore the rest, explore around and find where the rest of those uh, missions are we won't be looking too in depth with them today because you know you guys know i don't like to ruin all of certain mods if there's if i like them and there's a nice aspect of to to them i don't like to show it all off but we'll take a look at some of the shouts now so alicia's love the wife of shaw alicia symbolizes the unbreakable bonds Arcane Helix, of a voice meets magic, your shout shatter, arcane defences, Armageddon, your theme reaches out to the stars, calling down fires of heaven upon your hapless enemies. So as soon as I read that, I had to give it a go. Here we go. So I shouted to the heavens there, and nothing really happened, so I assume there's something else you got to do. 
but we got a few meteorites that fell down in the local area not unlike um alduin's shout which can bring down an absolute torrential storm of meteorites but it is only the first word so i would assume that when you get like the third word it gets more and more powerful a bit like storm call and earthquake so you could see there that the unyielding storm is greyed out because i already used it so i think that's a once a day power but there's earthquake so you can see you get a little splash of dirt jumps up in the air i'm going to just take a look at a few more of the shouts essence rip a shout that turns the tide healing your wounds and dealing the damage to the enemy Iceborne, the cold and cruel winds of the north shatter the hopes and bodies of the tongue's enemies. Uh, Lifestream, under the watchful eye of kind, a shout heals wounded and brings peace to Nairn. Fadza Decoy, your voice solidifies as a shadow or something, I went past too quick. Rift Walk, you ride, and that one went past too quick as well. I can read them yet faster than I can an actual... Uh, real life but we're going to take a look at a few of these shouts now shroud of snowfall summer by your theme a blinding snowstorm hides you from sight and muffles your step speak unto the stars now that's one i couldn't really get to work um i did try it out and nothing really seemed to happen so i don't know if it has to be directed at an enemy but I was assumed that it would have done like some type of crazy shooting star effect. And I didn't really notice anything. Uh, not necessarily a glitch, but I'm assuming that uh, there's some certain circumstance you have to use it. Probably have to use it at night. Uh, quite a few of these shouts are like buffs or debuffs. So I try to really only look at the ones that actually do something unique. But... This is it by no means all of them, as you guys are probably aware now. It's 31 of them. So, Rift Walk. See, I don't really know what that did. I assume it does something. I just I don't know what it was. It says you ride the astral waves and distance becomes um, nothing to you. So, I'm not sure what was supposed to happen there, but... I just do a quick cheeky way for an hour to reset the shout. So this is the one where it creates a snowstorm around you and muffles your footsteps. So, you know, if you're a stealth character, this is obviously going to be your thing. And that is actually third person there. I've gone invisible. So it's like an invisibility power. But I got attacked by some cultists. And Mirach really wants me to go and fight him. I am yet to go to um, fight Mirach. So we keep sending these guys after me to try and piss me off. And this is the splinter wind shout. So this summons the enemy's greatest fear. Which this guy, this certain cultist, is absolutely terrified of himself. Because I just got like a ghostly cultist appear. What else have we got? Wonderlust. Um, let's see, what did they go for next? Shattersphere. That one just shot a big block of ice at his head. And the other cultist was just killed off by the Shattersphere. Um, the Splinter Twins ghost that appeared. So it is one of the pillars of kind. And like I said, if you get a quiet to do the video, you me cat if you do if you get all three words of a certain shout and then you find the corresponding uh, shrine then it actually improves the power of that shout so I assume then that there is 31 of them there might even be more I'm not sure if they add any in for the shouts that are already quiet for the shouts that are already in the game Pillar of Kind's Peace, so Kind's Peace is an existing shout, so I, it does add them in for the other shouts as well. Maybe, it, will you be quiet? Try to do a video here. 
So this was the side mission where it was carry kinds flame to the doors of Hyrothgar. I didn't make it. I did haul ass as much as I could, but I suppose I could have made better use of the whirlwind sprint. But thanks for watching anyway, guys. Uh, you might have noticed that my world map is slightly nicer than the vanilla one. That's because I'm using a mod called Vivid Map, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, it is quite a nice little mod. It just makes the world map more photorealistic. And another mod called Beauty of FPS, which is meant to be a kind of graphics overhaul, FPS improver mod. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that one at the moment. I haven't really noticed too much of a difference. And I think you have to start a new game to really see the benefits of it. So maybe I'll do a video of that in the future and start a new game uh, just to see how that holds up. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys, as always. And I'll see you next time.